Hi everybody, welcome to The Truth Never Sleeps here on YouTube. Please, please subscribe. Over 7,000 subscribers. And I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my page, The Truth Never Sleeps. It's one of the fastest growing on the internet where I expose the satanic Illuminati like nobody else does on the internet. So please subscribe. Also, like my page on Facebook, Beyond Awake. Like that. I think you'll like it. I have some amazing stuff. As everybody knows, I expose the satanic Illuminati, especially some of the Hollywood um, Luciferian Satan sellouts, as if you are familiar with my page, you know. And uh, if you're brand new, this is what I do. I basically expose what is happening and, uh, you know, I basically almost tell you the future. I also decode things like nobody else does on the internet. So I want you to take a look at some of these logos because today I'm going to be talking about video games. Uh, you know, again, I expose Hollywood, but video games are a big part of the media. Actually, um, I believe Call of Duty was one of the largest selling video games of all time. It made more than any movie in Hollywood. And what they do is in these, these video games is they put propaganda and satanic ideologies and imagery and symbolism in them and I'm going to expose them so take a good look at this page right now because I'm going to show you and I'm going to break down some of these uh, logos like nobody else has ever done on the internet so again stick around this is going to be amazing again video games now are a huge part of our culture our phones now have video games on them but this is all part of the agenda to mind control us and to manipulate us and to take us to places that we really don't want to be a part of. And it's coming faster than what we can think. And I'll tell you what that, uh, what they want us to do in a little bit. This is the Illuminati card right here and it says video games. And the reason why it's on this Illuminati card is because this is part of the agenda. When I was a kid, I actually played a lot of video games throughout my young uh, teenage life and I, I wasted time when I could have been learning something, playing, uh, you know, playing an instrument or something. So this is all keeping us away from our, our true selves, which we could be that much more than just playing video games all day long. All right. The very first video game, uh, especially in the arcade and stuff, was actually Pong, which was actually like a tennis. You know, um, these were the very first uh, little video games here. If you've never seen it, this is the paddle. And, you know, there was a little dot and two people would play and go back and forth. If the ball went past it, then they would get a point. Uh, it was in the arcades at first, and then video game systems came out. This was in the early 70s, one of the very first video game systems to ever hit the market. It was called the Odyssey. And when we look again at the imagery and how these things are built, I want you to take notice the shape of it. This is like an uncapped pyramid here. Um, also, we can see here the paddle itself is in a triangle formation with the you know little knob here would be like the eye. You go, oh man, this guy is going totally crazy. He's picking up these little things. I really want you to pay attention because you're gonna see it in other other systems as I break this down and it'll all make sense. Just stick with me. So we had the Odyssey, then we had uh, Pong systems come out right after that. Uh, again by what? Atari. Now Atari again was one of the huge video game manufacturers in the 70s and of course in the 80s. They actually created the Atari 2600. And if you're a gamer like me back in the day, this was the system to have. But again, let's look at the logo of the Atari. And again, what do we have? We have a pyramid, Illuminati pyramid. This is done on uh, this is done on purpose. This is what these people that make these systems, that make these things, they worship these entities. They are Luciferian, Freemasons, and so forth and so on. Even some of the games you would see, you know, the pyramids type Illuminati. Here's Activision, um, and I'll get into that again. They made one of the largest games, but they've been making games since Atari. Um, 
Here's one of the top video game uh, cabinets in the world, arcade machines in the world, which is Pac-Man. And I remember seeing this video game as a little kid going to the grocery store. My mom seen it. I go, Mom, play it. And she put the quarter in, and the first thing she does is start chasing these guys. But ultimately, that's what killed her. She lasted a whole two seconds. But this is one of the most famous games, Pac-Man. But again, when we study symbology, when we study the Illuminati, what do we have here? We actually have in the board itself, in the maze, you see the eye. This would be the nose. This would probably be like a mouth. And then we have this thing here. So it's a face, basically. Now, they made, and the next one they made was uh, Miss Pac-Man. Huge game, the predecessor. But what we're starting to see is the symbology and the symbolism of this game was pure, again, perverted. So let me break it down. You see the eyes here. These would be the eyes. This would be a nose. This would be a mouth, okay? So you see it? The eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And Miss Pac-Man's in the mouth, right? And then there's this appendage here, right next to the mouth. What do you think that is? I believe that's a phallic. A penis, okay, I'll go and say it, which is again satanic, or not satanic, but again perverted. So let's look at this one. We see the eyes. This would be, again, the nose area, right? This would be a, the mouth. Actually, this would be the mouth here. You see, this is the mouth. She's inside the mouth, right? And then we see another appendage right there. So the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And this thing here. And then this is another board, just real quick. Uh, again, I think you can kind of already see it. The eyes, or either one, the eyes right here. This is the nose, this is the mouth, and this appendage right there. So, again, uh, perverted symbolism in, again, Miss Pac Man. It's all there. You can take a look at it. I was one of the first ones to expose this. All right, so let's get into the next thing is the systems and how they were built and how they look like the Illuminati. Here is Atari, and here we have the pyramid here with the eye, right? This is Atari uh, XE to go against Nintendo. Talking about Nintendo, this is Miyamoto. He is the inventor of Super Mario. He was actually one of the very first games he created was Donkey Kong, which Mario was a part of. This is a Link, which is connected to Zelda, Kid Icarus, and other uh, characters. He is one of the largest and uh, sellers of video games in history. Uh, his characters have reached world-renowned status, right? Uh, Miyamoto. But again, unfortunately, this guy is nothing but a satanic a uh, Luciferian pusher. And again, people are laughing right now like, dude, what's this guy talking about? Pac-Man being perverted. And now this guy who just created Super Mario, one of my favorite games of all times, is satanic and Luciferian. Well, you know, I always like to say people's art is who they are, okay? And in this video, again, I'm going to show you that this guy was satanic. Even in this turtle here, you can kind of see he has one eye. And we'll get into the one eye of Ra and Horus, Lucifer, whatnot. Um, we'll get into that a little bit. So I want you to remember that. But yes, Miyamoto was satanic. And of course, in his games, this is actually Super Mario's 3 that was in the Nintendo. In the late 80s, he came out with it. But again, in the game, as you can see these swirls here, whenever you see swirls like this, these are representations of sixes. And so what we have is we have three clouds, which represents 666. Now again, Miyamoto doing the El Diablo hand sign has to sign off on this. And guess what? He did. This is all the occult. Okay? Just to prove again, you got a little pyramid here. And then what do we have here? We have a checkerboard. Okay, this is the checkerboard ground in Super Mario 3. This is their game. I didn't do anything to it, but put these sixes here. And what that is a part of is that's a part of the Freemasonic order. So this is a Freemason. We have the pyramid. Um, we have these, again, these pillars here, which I'm going to show you. But just to tell you. You go, oh, I have a friend that's a Freemason, or how I'm a Freemason. You may be a Freemason. Well, just to prove that, again, Freemasons worship the sun, which is Ra, 
or a Lucifer. You can see this in this painting here, which is a Freemasonic depiction of what they believe. And this is the eye, the all-seeing eye that's in the back of your dollar bill. And that's a sun. This is Lucifer, the light bearer. This is what the Freemasons worship. So when we go into the revamped version of Super Mario's 3, we see again these three pillars right here. One, two, three. And we see the Masonic. And we also see the pyramids. And we see the checkerboard. All Masonic, all Luciferians who worship the beast 666. Again, which Miyamoto has to sign on. Okay? So... This man, I can call him satanic because he is promoting this throughout his games. Now, just to prove more, this is a Super Mario Nintendo 64. We have the checkerboard, again, checkerboard system, the, the Freemasonic board. And we have the sun right off the rip when you walk in. So, again, uh, a lot of the Freemasonic, uh, you know, ideologies and imageries. Here we have, again, he's swimming and we have demonic things. And he goes into an Egyptian world, okay? You know, they go, oh, it's just an Egyptian world. But when we look here, we have the pyramid, like a, a cap pyramid here. And then we have the star. And we have Mario. What he does is he goes into this in, in Mario, Super Mario 64. And he jumps and when he falls in this thing, this thing goes, uh, you know, we know like light. Now, a lot of Freemasons go, we, 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 the light bears, Lucifer, or whatever. But the true light of the world is Jesus Christ, okay? And in this game, he says, we know like light. So, the next character Mario fights is a one eye. Hmm. Okay, the eye of Ra, Lucifer. And when he defeats, he goes, now take the star of power. We sleep darkness. And so, this is what the Illuminati, the Luciferian Freemasonic, Worship, they worship the darkness, the, the Luciferian, fallen angel, Lucifer. Um, even in their, uh, you know, I guess what you want to call it, their logo for their game, you know, uh, you know, their artwork for their game. And when we look here, Super Mario Galaxy, that was one of the, the newest games that came out in Wii. And when we look at the, the star, where it lands, and we just take that U, so that star has the U. This one star has an R. This one has an M. This one has an R. This one has a G, A, and Y. You are Mr. Gay. So, again, they are promoting homosexuality. Um, and they are actually doing it in a couple of their games with now new transgender games. Now let's get into his, uh, some say his best character or his second best character other than Mario is Link, which is in Zelda. And we see the Illuminati, uh, eye. Uh, we see it in the logos again, the pyramids, right? We see the Phoenix, a bird and all this. And this all stems again from the satanic. So this is Miyamoto again. And this is in the Nintendo 64 Zelda, uh, the time one. And we see when he walks into this uh, building, the checkerboard pattern. And he does something, you know, in the game. He gets these three emblems. And we see the pyramid. And we see what? The sun. So again, this is all Freemasonic, Luciferian, uh, again, uh, worship. And this is in their games. This is what you, your children play and what you've played. I've played this when I was in the 90s. I played this game. And I didn't know this until I was awake. Okay? This is a brand new Zelda game. They just came out with this year in 2015. And yes, Nintendo is a part of the Illuminati. And we see the Eye of Ra, Horus, again, Lucifer. The Three Pyramids. This is Link. These are his characters that look demonic. Um, all part of it. This is in the game. This thing looks like a demon. That's the moon. Uh, this is one of the characters with the Eye of Ra. This is all satanic stuff, folks. And you play it. People worship these games. And it's nothing but the occult. Here's an older game. Another Zelda game with the Eye of Ra. Uh, the Serpents. The S-like type thing. Um, I can go on and on with this. But I don't want to do this all day. I, I mean, I'm just giving you a little taste of what Nintendo is really about. They're satanic. Here's their book, The Legend of Zelda, Hyrule Historia. I actually seen this book. And again, you have these occult imageries, the sun, the pyramid, these moons. Like, 
and um, you know the Muslim faith and so forth and so on, uh, all satanic. Now, in this part of the video here, I'm going to show you some esoteric knowledge, some some what the the magicians, the, the pagans, these witches, what they use. Now, this is Windows 8. Okay, and Windows does help with, or they they are part of Xbox. But I want you to take a look here at this red, the green, the yellow, and the blue. And I'm going to explain why your controllers have this and why why is this a part of video games so much we see it in everything and i will go through it but i want you to remember what i'm teaching you here what this is here this is actually a pyramid a flat pyramid or if we were looking at it from the top and this is going in the bottom and this would be the pyramid this light here would again represent lucifer the light that's why it's there that's why it's brighter now, in these pagan witches and so forth and so on, they worship the colors, and each color is represented by these elements. We have the yellow as air, the blue would be water, the red would be fire, the green would be earth. And you notice how they're in pyramid formations, and then they would have this as the white, the spirit. Now, again, the Illuminati, whether you know it or not, they are actually casting spells with these certain colors to create the spirit in these these objects so you would buy them and you would you know fall in love with them in essence that you can't be without them and this is all part of the satanic system google is those colors again you wonder why these colors are so out there it's because this is witchcraft they are creating magic into the populace now you you may not believe in magic whatever the Illuminati do and as I go through this I will prove that so give me time I know this is a lot to handle um, this is hardcore knowledge of the uh, esoteric but I got to teach you this because this is why systems have these colors you have the green, you have the red, the yellow, the blue, you have the pyramid, all part of the Nintendo 64. Again, this is creating a, a type of magic that you would want something like this. It's an energy. Colors have an energy. Colors have a frequency, and that's what these people do, and that's why they're in these systems. Again, you can kind of see it like a pyramid, and this is in the center of it. Here's one of their older systems. This is the Japanese version of Super Nintendo's. But again, we see those four colored elements that will bring forth this energy, a, a, a want for this thing. Okay? Also, Nintendo GameCube. This cube here. Now I'm going to, again, explain another occult, esoteric knowledge. Now when I was doing this, I was like, man, I'm loving finding this stuff for... For me, myself, so I will learn, but also for you to learn. And I know it's difficult for somebody who's new to this, but again, follow through what I'm trying to say here. Now, again, the GameCube is actually a G, as you can see here, and they say that's the G for the GameCube, right? But also, it's the G for, I believe, the Masonic, because, you know, throughout this video, I've basically proved that Nintendo does Masonic imagery. Okay, now we also, we are also a cube. Here, let me just uh, grab this here. Nintendo GameCube. Now, I want you to realize that this cube is basically Saturn worship, right here, the black cube of Saturn. Now, when we look at Saturn, and I know this is deep. But this is Saturn, okay? This is the cube. This is in uh, the northern pole of Saturn. And what we see here, we see like this cube thing, this hexagram. Now, many of the occultists worship this, this thing here because they believe it's a portal, an energy portal or whatnot. And so that's why we're seeing it in these video game systems, and I'll show you more of it. But there is actually a satanic Saturn cult and here's one thing someone found out Saturday is the name after Saturn. So Sat Saturn is the name of Saturday, right? Part of it. It's the sixth planet. Saturday is the sixth day. And it is a six-sided uh, polygon in the north pole of Saturn. So we have the number 666, which is the mark of the beast. So that's why, again, these occultists 
And this is Anton LaVey, the Church of Satan. He's doing the El Diablo hand sign. He has a black cube there. Why? Because this is all Saturn Satan worship. They believe this is a portal for the gods in Saturn. They worship this. Satan. Okay? I know this is deep stuff, but this is what these people believe in. Even Mecca, which the Muslim faith worship, the cube, it's everywhere. Even the Apple stores are cube, the rings of Saturn, they go in this circle. This is all satanic occult stuff. Here's the Nintendo 3DS, again the cube, again the hexagram. Um, here's Sega, the Sega Saturn. You see, is everything starting to make sense, folks? The Saturn, the Satan. This is their logo. This came out in the 90s, the early 90s system. Sega Saturn with, again, the serpent. This is one of their, um, again, one of their advertisements in the 90s. Sega Saturn, the ladies bald with the Saturn rings, which all stems from, again, that Saturn, uh, the portal, the demons. Now, this is Sega and their logo here. And we have what? The three pyramids, right? One, two, the three. You can say what not. But also for the first time, I broke this down. So here we have Sega, which means service games. And then I broke it down. I flipped this and we see the mark of the beast. Six. This white line would, this blue line is a six, right? This white line's a six, and this blue line's a six. So the mark of the beast, 666. Again, showing the mark of the beast, Satan, um, the energies, again, of this dark force. Right here, we have, again, their very first video game system, Sega Master System, which is an uncapped pyramid. We have the Sega Genesis, which is an uncapped pyramid. We have their number one video game, their character, which is Sonic the Hedgehog. And when we look here, I want you to pay attention to his outline. We actually have, again, an Egyptian disc, winged disc. This is all stemming from the, again, these Luciferians. This is all part of the agenda. Here is Sega Dreamcast. This was their very last video game system that they ever invented. Again, the pyramid with the circle, right? And uh, when we look at the logo, I want you to pay attention to the logo. We have what, again, 666. This is a six. Look at the colors. Again, the six. This is all different colors. I just Googled it. Sega Dreamcast logo, 666, Mark of the Beast. So, you know, I know some people are probably looking at it and go, man, this guy is crazy. Uh, you know, he's saying Sega has the Mark of the Beast, 666. I never seen that. Well, folks... This backs up what I'm saying here, 666. Oh, you don't want to believe me that it's not Illuminati? Well, let's flip the video game system itself to the side and we see the pyramid with the eye. See, I'm not joking when I'm telling you this information. When I first found out about it, I was blown away too. But we live in a satanic occult world that has been taken over. Now, this is PlayStation. This one really threw me off my chair. We've seen this logo, the PlayStation, the P with the S, right, with the different colors. And remember, the colors themselves, again, are a magic symbol, uh, which I explained. That's why I wanted to tell you and teach you guys this right off the rip so you would realize this. But what we see here, again, is another mark of the beast, which is 666 here. So this would be a 6. This is a 6. And you see, this is a little bit longer, a six. So the Mark of the Beast, again, on the PlayStation logo, you can see it a little bit better here. The six, the six, and the six. Your whole entire life, or, you know, as being playing these video games, and now you're starting to see who's the, the secret satanic masters behind it. Now you go, yeah, come on, Sonny, that's, that's not 666, BS. Well, again, they're worshiping the pyramid. And this is Sony, this is their computer logo, and you can believe whatever you want, but this is a satanic system, a satanic world that you are involved in with occult magical rituals that are a part of you that are um, hypnotizing you to want these things. And we haven't even gotten into really hardcore what the games do. 
Again, here we go. And even the symbols here are a cult, the pyramid, of course, we know, um, the square and compass and Freemasonry. I'm going to get into what this means, the X, and of course, the sun disc, which again, Sonic was a part of the winged sun disc. Okay, the colors again on Xbox. Again, the blue, the yellow. You start to see a pattern here. They don't even, you know, it's all there. The controller itself is into a uncapped pyramid. This would be the eye. Now, just to prove that Xbox is completely satanic, 666, all right, this is uh, numerology. So when we count, the F would be considered a 6, and O would be considered a 6, and the X would be considered a 6 in numerology. So when we put all together, Fox, that would be 666. If we had three Fs, that would be 666. Three Os, 666. And yes, three Xs would be 666. Here's an example. Here's pornographic, you know, triple X. Oh, let's watch a triple X film. If you tell that to someone, that means porn. Well, what that is, that's the mark of the beast, 666, which is, again, perfect for porn because it's a cult. Uh, again, uh, perversions of the spirit, the soul. So that's what X, triple X means, 666. All right, uh, we have the Xbox, right? So this is an X. This is a representation of the X, and this is another representation of the X, 666, okay? This here is the Xbox, and even on the logo, the box itself is an X, this is an X, and this is an X, 666, on the system itself. When you boot the system up, it goes into this green thing, this thing's floating around, it's doing weird shapes, right? But that's not really what I want to, uh, you know, concentrate on. And then we also see this type uh, shape here. Remember, like a Saturn hexagram and all this stuff. But this isn't what I, I, I want to show you here. I want to show you this here. This here is actually, and I want you to take a look at, these are reptilian eyes. And here you go. The serpent in the, uh, the book, in the Bible, the great book, the 666 are the mark of the beast, uh, the serpent, the Satan, right here. The serpent, the eyes, the reptilian eyes. It looks like a reptile type entity. And this is all when you boot up an Xbox. So we have the X666, and then this energy thing, vortex, and then we see this reptilian entity here. It's all there in front of you, folks. Uh, you can't make this stuff up. Here's Bill Gates, the gatekeeper. I don't even think that's his real name, his last name, you know. Again, he's a cultist. Again, he's doing the evil eye, the evil eye of Ra, Lucifer, Satan. Again, the Xbox 360, the X, the three sixes, the three sixes, 360, three sixes. All part of the occult. Again, the councils themselves, uh, you know, this would be the two eyes, the nose, and the mouth. The uh, Eye of Ra, like the elongated, right there. Um, again, when you boot up the Xbox, you see the Saturn rings right there, folks. The Saturn rings. And look in the middle. Look in the middle of it, right there. You see the Illuminati Pyramid. You see it right there. Here it is again. Oh, when you boot up the system, the Luciferian takeover, my friends. When you boot up the brand new, when you do an update, you see these strings coming along. You see three of them. That is the snake's representation of the snakes and the 666. So this is a 6, and this is a 6, the 6. Mark of the beast, all swirling. And then the, rep, the, the snake goes around. So it's hypnotizing you into the X. There it is. It's an occult ritual when you even turn on these video game systems, folks. Again, the eye, Ra, you see this is a darker eye, the one eye. Again, when you boot the system, the light of the pyramid, Lucifer. It's all there, the pyramid. You're looking at a pyramid with the colors. Again, which is witchcraft. Now, the reason why I made this video to expose video games, just not because I... You know, I want to and I believe in my heart that I need to tell everybody, but I seen this. This just came out in my newsfeed. 
Nvidia, whatever the heck it is, they are graphic card. This is actually a six, but they came out with the system, and I seen it here, and it looks like an Illuminati pyramid with the eye. Um, you can't make this stuff up. And so when I seen this, I go, it's, it is time to expose the cult video game industry, which is a billion dollar industry, and which is hurting the spirits and souls of many. Again, I break it down. Uh, Illuminati pyramid of Ra, Horus, you see that there, the pyramid. The pyramid, the controller is a pure uncapped pyramid. This would be the eye. And even this looks like a reptilian type thing or face what we see here this would be the top of the head this would be the eye this would be the nose right and this would be the mouth the nose mouth and this is the bottom of the jaw so even the system itself looks demonic with the the again the pyramid with the light satanic they're not the only ones that are doing it this is another brand new system that came out last year and uh, 2014, again, this is the Alienware video game system, and again, you see the pyramid. It uses an Xbox controller. Again, the X's are there. Everything's all part of the system. Inside these computers, they use different chips and stuff, but just to show you, again, the Intel processor, I know this is an old commercial, but we have the 6, the 6, and the 6. Here's one of their brand new logos, Intel Core i7 Pyramid. I, Lucifer, right there. Here's AMD. We see the pyramid, the light, right? Um, we also see the cube and the pyramid, which I, again, the reason why I went through explaining all this is because we need to understand this information here. And I know it's, it's difficult to understand. I know we're going through high levels of the esoteric, but you need to understand what these people believe in so you can realize uh, again, what they're doing to us through these satanic imageries and images. Now, again, through the Alienware, we see the pyramid and we see the alien. So this is the fallen angels. The fallen angels control, manipulate us through the game systems. They, they've made their marks through the video game systems. And here we see it. And if you don't want to believe me here that aliens do, here's one of the most recognizable logos out there. We know it's the Apple, which the very first Apple sold for $666.66, 666. And again, the apple or the fruit was given to us by the serpent who tricked mankind, which again are the fallen angels. And this is who controls and manipulates this world and manipulates the systems, the video games, everything, movies. I am laying it out for you to realize. It is in their uh, work. And that's why I said Miyamoto uh, again shows his work as a Luciferian, showing the Masonic logos, the, the logos themselves in these videos and these systems and these computer chips. They are showing you the Luciferian uh, indoctrination of the fallen angels. The fallen angels are the aliens, okay? This is what we must realize that worship. The pyramid, the evil eye. Okay, so this is real. This is something that is deep. And if you're new to my page, this is hard. This is hard for you to grasp. But this is the reality. We live in a world taken over by fallen angels. And they have marked their territory. This is in the computer system here in Apple. And again, the alien, the elongated skulls. Here's Konami. I know it's an old logo, but again, the reptilian eye. Here in the movies, we have the one eye, which is a representation of Ra, Lucifer, which is in the back of our dollar bill, as you know. And it's also in the video games, the one eye. You see it everywhere. Check that out. This is all done on purpose, giving reverence to the fallen angels. Ra, Lucifer, that light, the light bearer. Here it is again, more of the games. Again, I can't make this stuff up, folks. This is a reality. Here's Resident Evil 2, the eye. Now, let's get into the occult, and I want, I want again, we're already into the occult and the esoteric meanings of this, but this is Max Payne, and this game was the very first time I woke up to say, man, Satan and Satanic imageries all over these video games, especially Max Payne, and here we have, again, the eye, it's in a pyramid shape, 
Um, you know, and when he's walking up these stairs, I'm playing this game and there's the Illuminati and he's going after some Satanists or whatever. And you can totally see it. This is in part two of Max Payne. And we see again, the pentagram. This is all part of the satanic agenda. Here's the reptilian eye. Um, and they, again, if you're not new to conspiracies, a lot of 9-11 was an inside job. They showed it throughout um, The Simpsons and other movies, but they also did it in video games. And this video game here is Twisted Metal Black, okay? And they're already showing you like pyramids. But this game was released before 9-11. And what we see here in this coffee cup, we see the 9 and the 11. And look what's behind it in that billboard. We see the Illuminati. He is watching. And this was right after... Right, you know, right before, actually, right before 9-11. So they knew, and this is what caused those Twin Towers to be destroyed and millions of people losing their lives on fake wars. Uh, they knew, and this is all programming. Again, Satan runs this uh, video game uh, councils, as I have proved to you. Um, you know, again... I'm getting a little thing there, message there. Sorry about that. But again, uh, Doom 64. Uh, you see Satan, the pentagram. You see again, these are all cult. This was actually one of the very, Doom was actually one of the very first uh, shooters. Uh, first person shooters, of course, for giving reverence to Satan. Just to prove to you again, you have the pyramids here. Again, anytime you have the pyramids, that's again the Luciferian. The Freemasons worship the pyramids. They, they give reverence to the pyramid, which is Satan. That's what they worship. I showed you that in the beginning. Also, the sun. Okay? Um, again, the pyramid. It's in the back of our dollar bill. The Freemasons, you know, the dollar bill. This is Lucifer. This is actually a reptilian eye. Um, these are burnout. These are all in video games. L.A. Noir. The pyramid. The conduct. Pyramid. All this is controlled. And I could have made it a lot longer. Grand Theft Auto, the man is watching you. Illuminati, Illuminati, Grand Theft Auto, this is real. They control video games. They control it from the makings of these video games, the systems themselves, the chips themselves have occult you know, meanings, and the games. This is Call of Duty, the one of the number one sellers. Illuminati pyramids. Call of Duty. Uh, again, was made by Activision. I told you that in the beginning of this video. And again, they are part of the satanic occult. And um, they are promoting killing. And, and that's why, you know, these kids want to go to war. This is all propaganda. So kids will play these games and want to enlist into the, the military forces, which are the Illuminati. And many of these kids come back, uh, if they're lucky to come back, because some of them die, they end up with missing limbs or messed up in the brain. This is all part of the system. This is all indoctrination. That's why these shoot 'em up games are everywhere. And who controls that is Lucifer, these demons. Here's the reptilian. Here's the eye, right? Here's the nose. Here's another demon. The eyes, the mouth open. Another one. Uh, the eyes, the nose, the mouth like a skull. It's all over this. A pyramid with the eye. This is satanic. Even Street Fighter. One of my favorite games. 666 in this logo here. Take a look. The eye. Demons control this system. These video game systems. To Ken has a demon. They have angels and demons. And again, this is one of their main characters, the devil. And he has a demonic third eye. Uh, some of these characters have spirits that control them, manipulate them. All satanic, folks. All part of the satanic agenda. Here's, um, again, Resident Evil, one of the newer ones. A pentagram. Uh, Resident Evil 6. You have the 6 here. And this is actually a 6. A 6. A 6. A mark of the beast. Uh, sports games, demonic figures. Here's like a, right, if you look right here, this is the eyes, the nose, the mouth, a, a devil right here, like a skull right there, and another one in the clouds. This is who controls it, these demonic spirits that control, Hollywood control your video games. Here's a demon here. You can see it right here, the eyes, the mouth. I mean, I, I, I wish I would have outlined this. But this is all satanic. You can look at it. You can pause the video. 
and take a look at it yourself. But this is all satanic stuff, guys. Mortal Kombat, how can I not make a video and not show you the occult symbology of Mortal Kombat? The serpent, the six, the six, and the six, right? These, All these curls would represent that. The reptilian, right? The snake, the, the wizardry, and the magic, and the Satanism is everywhere. And the, the gore and the brutality uh, again, these are one of the very first games they, they created. Look at this. Now with the new technology, the gore is everywhere. It, it's disgusting. Desensitizing humans. This is all, uh, you know, promoting violence. And this, these demons, and I've actually seen these entities. Um, this is how they look like. This is how they manifest themselves. This is a reality, and this is what controls and manipulates these game designers to make these games. Or now that this is a reptilian here. Baraka is a reptilian. The eyes, and this looks exactly like a demon I encountered when I was praying over someone and they actually found themselves to the Lord. Hallelujah. I was praying over this person. I seen this entity manifest themselves. It looked exactly like this. Exactly. And um, I prayed for the kid. The kid went up, made an altar call, he gave himself to Jesus Christ, hallelujah. This entity attacked me and it disappeared, it left. So, this is the reality. Assassin's Creed, again, is showing, again, the Knights of Templar, which, again, became the Freemasons, and, again, at the top are Satanic and Luciferian. Again, they worship Satan. Here, again, the Knights of Templar, who became the Freemasons, Worship Baphomet and these occult imagery. When we look at our dollar bill, we have this. If we go into a pentagram, we have Mason. This is a reality. This is what these secret satanic societies worship. That in all in all, at the back end, who are their gods are these entities, the fallen angels. Make no mistake about it. And they, they, they put their logos, they put it all there in front of you, and they make fun, and oh yeah, it's just a joke, and people make joke in front of it. This is spiritual endowment, and we need to realize it, okay? This is a reality that these secret satanic societies want this Nuevos Ordos de Cloro, a new world order, to have their god, their demon gods control us, right? And uh, to, again, take away the only truth, which is the salvation of Christ, who teaches us to, again, uh, walk away from these demonic entities, demonic teachings. But we see it implanted in these video games everywhere. And again, I could have made this a lot longer. Now, let's get into, again, Steam. Here's Steam. This is another uh, video game, internet video game website where you can download games but again i just went on their website again the evil eye of Ra, the uncapped pyramids and you know they're creating their own uh virtual reality now we're getting into the futures of video gaming but i want to show you this before i get into the virtual reality take a look at their logo okay so here's their logo and then what i did was i just flipped it upside down we have the uncapped pyramid with the sun disc, the, the Ra, Lucifer. So folks, if you're into Steam, if you're into all these video games, this is satanic. This is where it stems from. And the technologies are coming with these new virtual realities. This is Facebook bought into this Oculus, whatever the hell name it is. And again, it is the one eye, Lucifer. Again, proving, I, I mean, Throughout the teachings of this video, I couldn't make this stuff up. This is a reality. And yes, they have the pyramid and the one eye. This is Lucifer. The eye of This is what it's about. It's sad. And PlayStation itself is going to come out with third PlayStation 4. And it'll probably have the PS symbol somewhere. And you're putting it in the back of your forehead and all that which is the mark of the beast, PS, again, the PS uh, logo is 666. This is satanic, and this is where we're heading, folks. But ultimately, where we're heading into is video games in the future, I would say anywhere from 40 to 50 years from now, will be implants that you would put in, just like the Matrix, by 2045, 
humans can be immortal, will link into these virtual reality worlds, but ultimately, when you link into these worlds, and this is called transhumanism, when computers merge with human biologicals, like us, we become these, uh, like, I don't know, these, um, these cyborg type things, right? Um, this is called transhumanism. This is what the Illuminati want. And we will be in a matrix system, a dream world state where we will play video games. We can become gods. They are talking about we can take our souls and take it and put it in a supercomputer and go into clones. This is all part of the future, which they're going to sell us. They're selling it us to us already. The year man becomes immortal. But folks, who controls those computer systems? Who controls it? Lucifer, the fallen angel. That's who controls these systems. Satan himself controls these systems. If you link up to those systems, this will endamn you. This will send you to the pits of hell. And it is coming. In the future, in the book of Revelations, it talks about how men want to die and they will not be able to die because they will accept these uh, entities, lies, and manipulation. But ultimately, you will be a slave to Lucifer. And that will also usher in the mark of the beast. So you become implanted, you can go into your super Google, you can buy stuff, it'll be an implanted chip or a tattoo as we see here, and you will damn your soul. And the Bible clearly states that if you put in this, this, this chip, again, and he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive the mark in their right hand or on their forehead, that they will lose their salvation through Christ. They won't know Christ. They will be blinded. Take a look at this. This is real. This is real. And this is the future. This They're already predicting the transhumanism. Take a look at this. This is who controls and manipulates this system. Which is Satan. No way around it. This is the future, and I'm telling you now. So don't get stuck on these video games. Don't get hypnotized and manipulated. Because once you are marked by this computer chip, game systems, the new game systems of the future, you will literally be a drone. You know, it's funny, the phones are called droids, right? You would be a machine operated by the people who control the machines. You see... Whoever controls the machines controls the persons linked up to it. Do you understand what I'm saying? And the Bible warns us of this evil. You will be nothing but a pawn in this game. You won't have choice to know the truth of Christ and God. You will be a robot linked into a satanic system of a hell. And you will be an eternal slave once you link up to these entities and these systems. You're already being mind controlled through the games. But now you'll be damned forever. And to the pits of hell when Christ comes back to wipe out these evils. And yes, it would be game over for you. Now I know this has been a long, uh, very tedious teaching operating, uh, uh, again, class that I guess I have done today. But I say it with the heart of hearts, folks. You don't want your life to be over. Because once you link up to these systems, you will be damned. And that's why I do these videos to teach your children, your grandchildren, people who watch this video to not accept their mark of the beast, which will ultimately control you, which the Bible warns us about. It's bad enough that they are mind controlling you through these video game systems through their operating systems, using magic, which again is working because many people like video game systems. They love it. They fall in love with it and they can't get enough of it. But it's all part of the satanic occult system. All part of the agenda. And um, 
it's there. It's always been there. But now you're starting to hopefully see the truth and the true light and the true love of Christ. See, we live in a satanic world. We live in a world that has been taken over by fallen angels, uh, the dark spirits, which again I have proved through the chips that power up these video game systems. That are the occult. That are part of the mark of the B666. That use the pyramid. That blatantly, this is blatantly in front of your eyes. That are fallen angels. They control this world. They gave the men that sold their souls the technology to build these things to again enslave humanity. Only way to break out of it truly and utterly is to become born again through Jesus Christ, my friends. The only way to get out of this occult, satanic system, in, action, in all actuality, we kind of live already in a matrix system. And the only way to break free from the bondage of this matrix system that is bombarded every time you turn on a TV, radio, video game, that's why I made these videos, is to go to God, pray to God, read His Word, be diligent in His Word, in His love, His power, His grace, His glory. Hallelujah. And I pray that you get born again. Say, the, say this prayer right now. Dear Heavenly Father, please help me. I have been manipulated and bombarded by this world, Father God, and I want to be born again through Jesus. I believe Jesus Christ died for our sins, warned us of this evil throughout the Bible, which the Bible warns us in almost every chapter of this satanic evil world takeover. It also shows your ultimate love, Father God, which you are pure love. Jesus, you died for us. That was pure love. And that I need you, Father God. I need you. I need you. I need you. I need to be born again. Please let me be born again in the name of Jesus. That I may be born in the, the power and the grace of God. Hallelujah. Let me be born again. Thank you, Father God. If you said that prayer, if you went to Jesus, if you confess with your mouth that the Lord Jesus is your Savior, God, that he was risen from the dead, you will be saved. I pray that you said that prayer, my friends. This is... We're living in the end times. You see the future that we're going towards. I hope this has helped you. May God bless you. May God bless your family. Please subscribe for more exciting videos to show you the truth of this world. Because truth never, never sleeps. Hallelujah. May God bless you. Thank you for watching.